I'm standing under the skylight in the center of the new building. The skylight was designed to let natural light come all the way from the big sky of Montana down into the, not only the second floor, but all the way down here to the first floor in the center of the building. I'm in a seating area that's just gonna be very comfortable seating, a lot of different sizes and shapes where people can get together and either read by themselves or be in small groups. We're a few feet away from the uh, coffee shop where people will be able to smell coffee and uh, come over here with, the, with their coffee and watch all the activity. Uh, but like I say, the, the purpose of this is to let even more natural light into both floors of the building. The material that's in that skylight is the same material that was at the, uh, the, the uh, swimming venue at the Beijing Olympics was made of. So the, the whole building has been modeled with translucent glass, perforated steel on the outside, and diffusion like this, diffusion in the fins on the east to manage the sunrise to make the best uh, energy and lighting, uh, heating and uh, lighting energy balance for the, for the building over time. Uh, also around the Oculus, when it's finished, will be the names of the major donors for the capital campaign that helped build the building and quotes about books and libraries. And hanging by cables above us will be the time capsule for the new building. It'll be cherry apple red and made of the same material and kind of in a clamshell uh, shape with hinges on it so it will open. So when it's uh, installed at the final dedication, when the new parking lot is done and landscaping and all of that in the spring, there will be a ceremony for it, things will go in, and then 19 years later, when it's the 150th anniversary of Billings, they'll be able to open it, see what's in it, and add things, and then every 25 years after that, it's the intent to have that lowered and opened and have the community participate in what's been in it and what they want to add to reflect the new time. I'm Cindy Patterson, the children's librarian, and I'd like to welcome you to the children's area. We are currently standing in the kids' craft area. This will be an area that we can do lots of kids' crafts, and we can also have game time. We're looking at developing hopefully a Lego club, and so just some awesome activities that can happen back in this area. And we also have the secret garden. And the Secret Garden is just a great location that you can only get to from the children's department. And we will be having activities out there. We'll, parents will be able to come and stop out there and read books with their kids in the summer. And we are also going to have some gardening programs out in this area. So we're coming up the staircase from first to second. And we're in the kind of the... Uh, heart of the second floor here again closer under the skylight behind over here is the elevators for the second floor glass doors uh, which is kind of fun to be able to see the light coming out but it also allows you to see who's on and make decisions about whether you want to get in or out uh, or not it's kind of a safety feature as well as a fun one and as you as we walk around you'll just notice a huge difference in openness and light makes it much more welcoming. You can look out and orient yourself with the rims on the north. You can look out to the east and see the city and to the south. Once our current building comes down, you'll have a view of the skyline of buildings. So it's just very intuitive and natural to find your way in the building and very comfortable with all the light and open space.